welcome to today's episode and we have here with us Crystal. Hi Crystal, how are you doing today? I'm good. Good. Do you want to do like a short introduction about yourself or do you want me to dig into you? What? <laughs> dig into me? <laughs> I want to see how you dig into me. Okay, it's just an introduction about yourself, maybe. Okay, so basically, um, right now I'm on a mission to help empower women, mm-hmm. to give them more, um, to help them overcome self self doubt and lack of mm-hmm. confidence, so that they can live a life that's more empowered, mm-hmm. more confident, abundant, and also fulfilling life. Mm-hmm. Very good. <laughs> okay, this is uh, it's very important whenever people make it make it their business to try to better other people's lives. I feel I feel it's a great it's a great thing to do. How did you so this is your current mission in life, right? Mm. How did you or when okay let me phrase my question carefully. When was there a time in was there a point in time when you decided that this is what you're gonna do for the foreseeable future? When did you mm. adopt this mission? <laughs> so about Three years ago, I uh, decided to set my mind on this mission mm-hmm. um, in my journey of personal development mm-hmm. um, because back then, um, I was actually struggling with my own personal life. life mm-hmm. exactly. So the struggle of my life actually got me into personal development. Um, and then, well, what, you know, as I delve into this space, I realized that like, this space is so male-dominated, mm-hmm. just like many mm-hmm. other industries. Mm-hmm. And then I realized if I could just be the voice to speak to you know fellow women, probably Asian, then I could also you know be a vessel to help uplift women mm-hmm. to make them their life better, to transform their life. In in your in your line of work or right, in your current mission, what do you see? What do you think is the biggest challenge uh, for the women you have spoken to generally, like across the board? Mm. Is it like insecurity? Is it like I don't know? Yeah. What is the biggest thing that you feel? I feel like women, um, in contrast to men, of course, insecurity is something that is across the board. I think it, it applies to both women and men. But I think for women, mm-hmm. we tend to have additional layer of emotion that we carry. Um, and it can surface in many different forms which limits us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I feel like um, my mission to help empower them comes in different ways. Mm-hmm. So one would be, say, by a coaching, whereby I can help them identify, you know, where these beliefs are actually coming from mm. and if this is something that is really serving them to bring oh, noise around them mm. or even limiting them mm. Mm. or like their it. potential mm. correct so basically this is one aspect and i feel like the other aspect of why you know people tend to have like, confidence or even like mm. self-doubt um is the, or all these you know emotions is because we don't feel confident and confident to because of lack of knowledge. So mm. that's where the education comes in because you know when you build up the knowledge, um, you know, take a- massive action, mm. that's where you start to, you know, yeah. build forward and acquire more confidence. And confidence is always a byproduct of your the obstacles that we overcome. Okay, yeah. that, that's for you the, the confi- okay, I can't mm. so like the more obstacles you overcome, the more confident. Mm. Which I agree you have a lot of people are scared of feeling, right? Like men and women both scared mm. of feeling. I right? think Fear of failure, personally, I feel like it actually stems from school. Yeah, I know, I know. We are taught that because our school system is very like right is right, wrong is wrong, right? right? If you're wrong, you get punished. And that's actually, and then I said, go home, gotta punish more. Punish in school, punish in school, not enough, go home, gonna again. So then we're gonna hide and we're gonna be secretive of our own fear. Yeah, I know, but I give failure is where we learn lessons from. Exactly, exactly. If we are not failing, that means you're not doing anything. There's only exactly. yeah, there's only one way to not fail. That is not to do anything. Yes, and to, to me that is the scariest part because that means you're not experiencing life to its fullest. That means you're not growing as a person. You're yeah. stuck there forever. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> so scary. Yes. So I feel I feel like this belief mm-hmm. is actually actually hindering most of. Mm, that one I agree. Absolutely. Mm, mm. Mm. So if we can create like a safe space to feel forward, feel fast and feel forward. Yeah. Just feel when your stakes are low. I feel like it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. People ask me, mm. uh, when is the best time to start YouTube? When is the best time to do anything I've not done before? Right. Yeah. Now. No. Because now is the youngest you will ever be. Yes. One minute later, you're already one minute older. <laughs> 
And <laughs> take it from two of us, the older you are, the more the heavier life becomes because yeah. there's a lot more responsibilities. Your parents get older, you need to take care of them, you may have a spouse, you may have kids, you may have a dog, cat, turtle, whatever it is. You can make up more excuses before <laughs> <in> new responsibilities. <laughs> yeah. So when is the best time? It's now. It's now. It's so it's so now. you're thinking, should I start a YouTube channel? Start. Should I do something? Do. Yeah. <laughs> should I go backpack around the world? Do, do it. it. Yeah. Do it before you cannot do it. Okay. No, and I feel like this kind of belief, it, it kind of grow and stuck with us. So the older we, you know, take action, mm. the more we will the hold on to that. Because more imagine. Let's say now, if you are twenty years old, you've been living with this belief for twenty years. Mm -hmm. If you are fifty years old, imagine yeah, you know, this belief is like fifty you're, you're years. Doing this for fifty years, of this mm -hmm. habit, right? And you, people might not want to disrupt their fifty-year-old legacy belief. A lot of people don't mm -hmm. want to. So it's always best to start now. I feel like when sometimes when there's a balance mm -hmm. of fear and excitement, mm -hmm. this, this is a sign that you should go. Yeah, I get what you mean. Mm. Like the more the more scared you are, the more you should I should do it. That's how yes. I tell myself. Mm. Like if I feel like I should do something, but it gives me a great deal of fear, then I'm like, okay, yeah, I guess this is something that I should do. Yeah, it scares yeah. you a little. That means you know, that scares something. me many. <laughs> <laughs> until you do, until you're not scared anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like I'm in front of the camera. Like what well, happened? You should see my shots, man. <laughs> Crystal can see it. I'm wearing like those very anti shots they buy from the person No fear. <laughs> Whatever lah. Short and reveal. This is really, anyway, the camera can see the here lah. Okay. So what, okay, I have another question for you that I'm curious. Like what, it, per, for you personally, we've, talk, we've just spoken about the biggest issue that the women you've met. Mm -hmm. How about for you personally on this journey, what is your biggest challenge? Mm. that you have met so far? You mean my life journey or my career journey? You can talk about career journey and then we will move on to life journey. Mm. <laughs> career first. Like. Okay, ca career because, because right now I'm actually embarking on a new journey mm -hmm. uh, from being an employee uh, with big companies, startups, and then right now you know, really coming out to do um, entrepreneurship on my own. Mm -hmm. Definitely, I do face similar struggles mm -hmm. such as self-doubt such as you know like a confident mm -hmm. but i'm not gonna use that to limit me mm -hmm. i'm just gonna do as i i mean like as i as i mm -hmm. suggest which is just to you know take action and feel forward and i think that's so important to really you know equip yourself and build the confidence muscle yeah. <laughs> confidence is like a muscle yes 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 just, just to work on. it up mm. and, <laughs> and in my life i mean i have Personally, also experienced many milestones or any big transition. So this is something that has been, you know, showing up time after time. Mm -hmm. And I trust that, you know, sometimes when we see fear, we just have to really grow through it. Go through it and grow through it. Mm -hmm. mm. That's very good sharing. How about your life journey now, your biggest challenge? Okay, maybe I should not raise it. Your most painful lesson from life. My most painful lesson, mm, okay, the root of it stems from lack of clarity. Mm. Mm. As in lack of clarity about where you want your life to be or lack of clarity about what you want to do? Mm, okay, so everything is lack of clarity. Just <laughs> sharing a, a little bit uh -huh. um, more so it's some, a little bit more context. Uh -huh. So the biggest life challenge I faced was actually going into a marriage that is not serving mm -hmm. um, and, and ending up in a divorce. Mm -hmm. So the most painful part was, okay, and the reason why I mentioned that lack of clarity because back then um, I was holding on to a lot of um travel trauma. Like for some legacy, baggage, right? yeah, legacy baggages <laughs> from generations <laughs> about marriage. So naturally that caused me to have a lot of fear around marriage. Mm -hmm. Because I didn't know what exactly marriage meant. Mm -hmm. so what's what's it mean? What's it mean for me uh, for marriage? What's, mm -hmm. the, what's the difference between just being together and mm -hmm. married, right? Mm -hmm. So I couldn't figure out yet, but you know, I was about age that I should settle down. Oh, you know, the the, come in. The, oh my goodness. Yeah, and then we have been together for some time, you should, you know, get married. So I was like, oh, like, okay. Um, I know it's time, it's about time that society expects. <laughs> I don't exactly feel and I, I'm still so fearful. Uh -huh. So um that's why I mentioned about that apparently uh, because I didn't, I didn't even know. So I was just thinking, maybe okay, let's work on it and then just 
just go for go forward and continue to work on it and let me have the clarity to figure um, out. Yes, yes, yes. So as I step into the marriage and I continue to figure out, I realize, oh like I, I didn't even know what marriage was. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah marriage so is hard work, people, please. It is hard work. And mm-hmm. I feel like sometimes when you don't even have the clarity of who you are. Mm. What what do you how do you want to define your marriage? Mm. And what's the need that both of you want to bring mm. for to make this union work out? Yeah. So I think like it is like no roadmap, nothing, right? Yeah, no, really, it's like raising a kid has no roadmap. Right, but but if you don't even have like a common goal, like for example, uh, like yeah, union, yeah, yeah. you don't even have a common goal, Mm-mm. it I feel like it's a bit difficult to make this. Like your goal. values and your goal, life goal is not in line. Is that mm-hmm. Back then, um, for a start, I didn't even know my values. Yeah, because I didn't you even know yourself were not clear about your whole okay. life path and value and then mm-hmm. and all that. Um, so it cost me a lot of pain. Because getting into a marriage and then figuring out um, and realizing that, oh, this is not right and not serving me. Mm-hmm. I think, you know, the, nobody goes into a marriage with the intention of having a divorce. Yeah, of course. And this is not something that I would encourage. But what I would say is that having a clarity, knowing, example, what are the values that you, you have mm-hmm. that are non negotiable, and what mm-hmm. values is it that you're looking for in a partner? And what are you both going to bring on the table? Mm. What kind of life do you want to co-create? Mm. Then I think for that, it would, you'll be in for a success. Of, of course, it's not going to be easy because, you know, like marriage is hard. Nothing is ever easy to be right. frank. But you have a compass, you have a goal that, you know, both, both of you are working towards. So that will make hard times even yeah. easier. No, and you know you're traveling. Mm. Maybe I don't really like you so much now, but... Well, we're still on the same group. Same, yeah, same yeah, path, yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, I agree. Exactly, mm-hmm. exactly. So basically, right, I mean, and the reason why I feel strongly about the mission because I feel like I want to help people seek clarity mm-hmm. because I paid a big price for not having the clarity back then. Mm-hmm. And during my years of struggle, thankfully there were a lot of like teachers, There's mentors, no around coaches. Mm-hmm. Mm, I stick out for them. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. And thankfully in the internet age, we could find a lot of good resources online. Mm. So I was thinking, okay, like since there were some people, there were quite a lot of mentors and coaches that helped me back then, I want to pay it forward to help others. Mm. And in the personal development space, it's a very male dominated space. Yes. So I felt like if I could be the, the female, the Asian face, I could actually resonate with you can help other Asian people as as exactly. Yeah. And I think Asia uh, Asian culture is something that not everybody understands. Mm. But if you grew up in an Asian the tiger mom. Yeah, you grew up in an Asian family, you grew yes. up in a this context, right? You understand. Mm. You understand. Okay. To be frank, not like Westerners, you grew up in a different country. It's not like we cannot understand their culture. Mm. They will never understand us. Mm. Yeah. So well, good for you. Um, I think I think it's really helpful, and I agree that. But you know, you you are stepping out right now, and you're saying mm-hmm. that I want I want to be uh, a a, a co- life coach to women specifically. Um, what are the most common misconception that people have when you say that? Um. Okay. First of all, I don't say I'm a life coach. How do you say? <laughs> I say correct me. And all women. Yeah. Yeah. Because I feel like yeah. life coaches there are many and what exactly they want to talk about. Mm. So basically I feel like okay, like even for myself when I first experienced coaching, I didn't know I was being coached. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Usually so, it happens like that. Huh? Yes. The real coaches are like that. exactly. So I felt <laughs> that that was beautiful because if I were to say I'm gonna coach you, I feel like there's a lot of negative connotation that comes along with coaching. Because for example, if you think about school time. It comes from wow. the Asian context. Yes, like you I think in the coach. Western world, if you say coach, they don't think like that. I, I think in the Western world, because coaching is a lot more mature. Yeah, so because it's like therapy. Correct. Uh, so in Asia, I feel like we still feel like we're being punished. Like, for example, you are not performing well, so you're going to be coached. Is it like punished? I'm not good enough. Yes, I'm not good enough. So basically, I mean, my role is not to tell you what's the best for mm-hmm. you. Basically, a coach is really more like somebody to reflect to you what they observe. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say more, it's pretty much like a children asking you very innocent question to let you think about things from a different perspective, which mm-hmm. sometimes if we would think of it ourselves, you know, we start in a loop. 
You know, like a broken recorder. I remember like. once told me, he says, mm. if you are always talking to yourself, you will always be right. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and first of all, you'll always be right. So you don't have a different perspective. No. You question your, your existing thinking. Uh, and, and you realize like, how come, you know, maybe after decades, you're still stuck with the same uh, same issue in your yes. in your mind. Yes. So basically, a coach is kind of somebody who step in to witness some observation and then mm-hmm. really to point out, hey, like, the thing is, I, I'm wondering, like, I'm curious, like, why mm-hmm. is that that I'm hearing this? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tell me your feeling, your mm-hmm. thoughts. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they help you dig deeper yeah. to, to maybe sometimes even be a bit uncomfortable. You mm-hmm. have to be uncomfortable. Yes. To face what you were running away from. That is the uncomfortable truth. You have oh. to be uncomfortable to grow. Correct, 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 correct. <laughs> But I think growth never happens in common. Never? Because mm-hmm. you're doing something strange and new, yes. right? And foreign. So, yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. So if, let's say you tell people that um, I'm here to empower people. Like, do you get, what is the, like I mentioned earlier, what is the biggest misconception? What kind of like pushback do you get when you when you go out and tell? Because you have mm-hmm. to be, yeah. I feel like oh. when you're putting yourself out there. Mm-hmm. Mainly, oh, they, if they don't feel pain enough, then they wouldn't want. Mm-hmm. So it's really with to consider what what is for example self doubt, what is lack of confidence causing them? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How are they impacting their life? Mm-hmm. For example, less opportunities, not being able to stand up for themselves. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, like not daring to take new actions and mm-hmm. limiting their potential. So mm-hmm. I feel like if you really know what the cost that you're paying for keeping yourself where you are then that will actually sometimes propel you to take uncomfortable action to propel you to greater heights. Yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly, exactly. Even back then, um, I would say that if there's no big breakdown to disrupt my life and make me question <laughs> I wouldn't have grown so much. So in actual fact, uh, reflecting back, I'm really grateful that this breakdown happened because if not, I wouldn't have such a strong But yes, but yes, but yes. That's what I realized about a lot of people are like. Yes, yes. Because something terrible mm. and uncomfortable happened, mm. and you were forced to face yourself. Correct. Face a lot of room mm. to do that. That's how you grew. Exactly, exactly. Because the discomfort and the fear of your existing, you know, yeah. situation yeah. is worse than the fear of the uncertain future. So it's a powerful tool you have. Really. Exactly. It is a very powerful tool and really I it's really powerful in the sense that it really helps you to understand people who are going through the same thing. Exactly. And I want to help much people because um, back then when I was facing a very difficult, a challenging time, mm-hmm. I could go either way. Like, which some people actually, they, they yes. you know. It's a crossroads. Huh? And I think mm. you, it's really up to the choice that you want to make. Yes. You could use this difficult situation to empower you mm-hmm. or disempower you. Yeah, so if I didn't really chance for all these coaches, I didn't seek out. Mm. Maybe today I'll be totally different. Yeah, you will. I may be, you know, like going into depression, which many women do. Mm. Like my mom. Mm. And during her divorce, she got into depression. Mm. Um yeah, and, and it's it's not easy. Mm. Yeah, so so it's just it happened, it happened that at the point of time, you know, I happened to be exposed like <laughs> to do personal development. And to me, it was like, okay, situation, the situation is so bad. I, I've got no loss. Let's just try it. Yeah. And yeah. my life took off from there. Mm. Um, yeah, so that's, that makes, I mean, it gives me a strong mission that if I could be the voice that helps somebody, you know, to pull them out from this darkness. Mm. Let them darkness. Mm. Possibility and hope. Mm. From there, they can chart their own path. Yeah, mm. it's true. Uh, mm. Sometimes all you need to just give people like, hey, look, there's the light at the end of the tunnel. Yes, there's light. Yeah, yeah, and you've been through it. That's why you say I have been through it. You can, you can use that as a tool. That's why I said it's a very, very powerful tool. Yeah. And I think it's wonderful that uh, somebody somehow we look a little bit like today. <laughs> I'm very honored to look like somebody who has <laughs> such a great mission in life. To help empower women and to help empower individuals. Okay, thanks so much for sharing about your current mission in life. I am now uh, more gay for you as a person. Because <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, did I sign up for? I let this I strange, know, but... <laughs> strange girl at some event and finally she kidnapped me to be on her show and now I'm just digging into my life. <laughs> 
Okay, this is the tree of life. I don't know, plant of life, something. Pick a question. We'll do about two oh, or three. Wow. You okay. just pick whatever, whatever you feel uh, is kind of right cute. Right? <laughs> okay, the question. Oh, oh no, this one we I asked you already. What is the most painful question? What is the most painful lesson you have learned from life? I've asked you this. So I'll ask the opposite. Mm. Mm. What do you think was your biggest blessing so far in life? Hmm. Because oh no no no. Let me rephrase it. When was your proudest moment in life so far? When did you feel like oh my god, Crystal, you did great? <laughs> like you were very proud of yourself. It can be anything. Proud myself. Really? Like your proudest moment so far, so far. Every, every day, I'm proud of myself. Yeah, like proudest, 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 proudest. proudest. Okay, so this is the proudest moment where I can really, um, because. In the back in the past, um, I feel like I there are many parts of myself that I couldn't accept. Oh yeah, I yeah, yeah. Okay, and, yeah. You know, like no self love and and stuff. That, and you, I was always seeking for validation mm, externally, externally, and this will never be fulfilled because you know once yeah yeah. So basically, it's not serving. So the reason why I say that the proudest, I mean every day is a proudest moment because you know right now every day I will really. Not just show appreciation to the world, I show appreciation to myself. Like, you know, like, yes, you've overcome this, and mm -hmm. wow, you know, you can do it. It's just being my own cheerleader. I think that's, yeah. that's really amazing. Mm. So I, then, then you start to find that I, I start to find that hey, I don't really need the external world to validate me. Mm -hmm. I know that, you know, every day I'm showing up, doing my best. Yeah, you're showing mm. up. And like juggling motherhood, juggling career, juggling finance, wood. Yeah, finance learning. <laughs> Um, I'm also like a student, yeah, learning many things. But yeah, so <laughs> it was never my end. end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so basically like juggling so much. So I really, really feel proud of myself, like for um, overcoming and, and going through like so like going through life. Yeah, going through, growing through life. Growing through life yeah. without being beaten down. Yes. <laughs> Standing back up from the <laughs> You know, that's the, that's the thing that I love the most about life and that's the thing that I hate the most as well. It's like you will, after you go through a little bit of life, right, you realise that, oh, this falling down and standing up will never end. Never, never. And then you are like, oh my god, I have to do this again. Yes, yes. Lovely. And <laughs> what I find mean is that if, if there's a lesson in life that we never, we don't learn from it. I mean, it will come again. Yes, it's, it's just like, you know, Going through like primary six, you know, like over and over again. And <laughs> graduate. There's a course that I went through, and they say they call it a Mac truck. You know, like in US, yeah. they have like huge Mac trucks, mm -hmm. the one that travel, you know, many hundreds of kilometers, right? They say first, the universe will give you a tap. Yes. Hey, yes. Maybe you need to change. Mm -hmm. After that, it will be a slap. Hey! <laughs> and then you will be a fun. Hey! <laughs> And then you don't change, you will be a coming. That's a bad trouble. <laughs> yeah, so if something keeps happening and you see a recurring thing, then there's a lesson that you must learn. Yes. And guess what? After you learn, the next lesson is on its way. <laughs> but at least you graduate from the same lesson. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So for me, I feel like, I mean, yeah, like I said, that's, that's something that's the thing I love. Mm. And that's the thing that, like, oh, okay, I'm doing this again, but okay, I get to go. It's like, I love your relationship right now. <laughs> When you realize like after you go from it, hmm. when you look back, you could really be proud of yourself. Yeah, right? Right? it's actually not that hard. Yeah. It's not that. And that means that you're graduated. Yeah, but then the never ending, uh, never ending levels. Uh. Yeah. Fighting the big boss. Right? Yeah, never ending bosses. <laughs> You think this was scary? Next was scarier. <laughs> it's scarier. Yeah, that's how life works. Which is great. I'm grateful. I'm grateful, universe. Okay, please keep giving me lessons. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's why we need the support team. Like yeah. we need like. That's why I need like a love today. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I love you, universe. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the lessons. <laughs> okay, now you pick your next question. This this is kind of fun. Like this, but really, really. Oh yeah, this one I love. What do you think the world needs more? Wow. This True. is like a big philosophical today's yes. session. You know their questions buried here, like like if you can only eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would you eat? And it's not coming up. So today is a philosophical kind of thing. It's a deep set thing. Mm. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, the world needs more love and truth. Love mm. and truth. Okay. Mm. Love in terms of okay, love that I want to know. What do you mean by truth? Like to be able to tell the truth to the mm-hmm. judgment or mm-hmm. like okay, so truth. What is your version? I feel like mm-hmm. okay, like for example, right now, yeah, a lot of like big news mm-hmm. or big information that is like going around, mm-hmm. and all these things that are you know that are, that are out there. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, actually, if you really look at it, they are not serving you, not trying mm-hmm. to make people better. Mm, that's true. Mm. It's just drama. It's just drama. It's, it's just drama. drama. Sales, Catching, yeah. Right. So <laughs> they think it's very selfish, which is maybe say for the organization and stuff like that. It's really not to empower people, yeah. not to let people live their best life. Yeah. It's keeping them trapped, keep making them play small. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So not letting you know the truth. Mm-hmm. So I feel like the world is more true. And why do you not tell it there? Because if we for example, we have the loving, like compassionate mm-hmm. love. Mm-hmm. We want the best for others. Yeah. Yeah. And we won't we won't we want to think of harming them just for our yeah. own benefit. Yeah. Which which then ties into if, if you don't want to harm them, then you will not spot the lie to them, make them worse off. Yeah, I know what you mean. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes, right, um power comes from also dividing people. Yes, right? correct. So, and in actual fact, like I feel that in this world, you know, as I go into this journey of deeper self-awareness mm-hmm. and, and this journey of personal development, I feel like there's actually more oneness mm-hmm. in the world as mm-hmm. compared to divide. So mm-hmm. the divide is actually artificially caused by, you know, language and, and many other things. Mm-hmm. Um, we, we actually, we are all one. We are just humans yeah, at human. the end of the day. We are okay. just humans, okay? Yeah. Whether you guy, girl, male, female, in between, I don't know, whatever you yes. want. We are just humans. Correct. And we are all here to take out work. You work so hard because you love your family. Oh. You you are doing your best because you know even though what we do sometimes we show up in a funny way, but it's actually out of love mm. or fear fear of maybe pain. Fear mm. of, yeah. So so basically, if the love can be more, I feel like the world actually has enough for everyone. No, more than enough. Mm. That one I would absolutely agree, mm. and I think love is very encompassing. Mm. Kind of. But thank you for breaking that down for us. Because uh, love can be a very big word, right? What yes. do you mean by love? Correct. But right. love and acceptance. I think. Mm, love and acceptance. Yourself. And when I feel like, um, and even for the truth, when we love ourselves, we can tell ourselves the truth. Yes. Without mm. judging or feeling hurt. Yes, yes, yes. And only when we can speak truth to ourselves, that's when we can speak truth to others. And mm. the world. Yeah, if we are not even comfortable to face ourselves, I, I feel like that's that. Actually, yeah, we, we can't even bring the truth. Well. That's true. Mm-hmm. You say you are also juggling motherhood. Right? Mm-hmm. Do you think that having a child helps you to kind of look deeper into yourself? A lot, a lot. Mm-hmm. So basically, I feel like my child actually teach me a lot more about life, mm-hmm. and it bring, it makes me reflect back a lot of my childhood. You know where these trauma stems from, mm-hmm. what wasn't working mm-hmm. well mm-hmm. um from the past generation, mm-hmm. and. And she is the motivation that makes me want to step out to, to you know, be a better to be a better person because I feel like I can I I can be a change maker to break this chain. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't want this legacy of you know, it will stop with you. Yes, it will stop at me, mm-hmm. with me. Mm-hmm. And I and I also want the next it makes me think beyond myself already. Uh-huh. Because with a child with my daughter, I want to make the world a better place so that the world that she can she live in. The that she will inherit from you. Yes, and, and if the world is generally a better place, she has less better than that. Um, mm. Anyway, that's what I hear for a lot of moms. Mm. Yeah, like, I just want to make the world better place yeah. for my kids. Yeah, so I think that's so powerful. Like, logically, actually having the children doesn't make sense. Because, you know, no, it never makes sense. They are of... just a bundle of liabilities. Yes, <laughs> In terms of, you know, money. Financial, they are definitely a liability. Yes, yes, Finance-wise, yes. but if you look at it in a deeper network, more for, you know, mm. yeah, it, it's, it's something that money, you can't you use not have anything else to change. All right, so she brought up really the best in me because, in a way, it, it also, um like, I also want to show up the best because children model yeah, from your well, actions. They will not listen to what you say, but they will, what is my mom doing? Copy her. Yes, yes. <laughs> so if you are like mm, every day just yes. lying down there on the TikTok on Netflix, yeah. then she's like, ah, so copy. Yes, 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 yes. So, so I feel like that like, somehow is 
instant. It's like a boomerang. You throw out and then she comes back. She's like a surveillance camera twenty four seven. Right. Totally. So basically, sometimes you know what? Right. When when what happens? She comes back. I feel like something wrong. Must be something you did, lah. Right. Okay. I remember when she was so young, like she was ten years old, and then suddenly she keeps saying, "Yeah." Oh. Hmm. So she then. Because it sounds very rude when the kids say yeah, yeah. Mm. And we didn't realize because as adults when we talk, because as adults we be very sensitive, where is this yeah coming from? Oh. So I realized it actually when the adults talk, everybody is using yeah mm-hmm. instead of yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think in Singapore we pretend to be very yeah, efficient yeah, yeah. in our words. So if we can cut the word, we will cut it. Yeah. So yeah, you see? Like, yeah. yeah, correct. So it's like instead of yes, I agree. We will say yeah. yeah. So she picked it up, and then when she said, I started to realize. Everyone is saying that, yeah. and we're using it so often, more often it, than yes, than I would like. Oh, oh no. <laughs> so from that, like, you need to change that. Yes, yes, yes. From that moment, I started to change. Enough, and yeah. even I say, I catch myself. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh. <laughs> you become sensitive to the sound. Very. So that immediately struck me that okay, like if I want to shop in a certain way, instead of telling her don't do this, don't do that, tell instead you know reinforce what you want to see. And even more than yeah, all you need to do mm-hmm. is just be the just be with you. Yes, yeah, just be it. Yes, whatever you want him or her to do, your your kid, you just have to be that. Yes, yeah, mm-hmm. but that one is a it takes a lot of self reflection and yeah. courage. Yes, mm-hmm. courage. Okay, yeah. last question. Okay, it's you okay. Yeah. Let's check it out. Oh, this is fun. What is the one thing you think everyone should do at least once in life? Once in life, you think everybody should do before they die. Wow. <laughs> once in life. Yeah, that, that you've experienced or you're hoping to experience before you, you pass on because we all pass on. Mm, mm, mm. That's true. What do you think? <laughs> I like to say free diving, but then I also want to be not everybody can swim. No, it's okay. You 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 just you don't have to be mindful to everybody. Nobody oh really? Can. Okay. No, really. Then never mind. This is the kind of show my audience should be used to me by now. Okay, people? Yeah. Yeah, so very diving, I personally feel like Have you tried it before? Yeah, yeah I love it. Oh, scuba before. Yeah, so I also love scuba a lot. Yeah. But free diving is another level. So because scuba diving, you know, we go down the yeah, tank yeah, yeah, yeah. with the oxygen, so there's a lot of noise. Uh, and we, I mean, it's a really good experience. However, I feel like free diving is bringing it one step. Level. Yeah, yeah. So it has a nice balance of the experience in the water, closeness to nature. Because mm-hmm. you know, when you go down, you feel like you're more free because you have all this. Yes, you don't have all these baggages that you're it's bringing. Just your lungs. It's just you, correct, <laughs> and you're responsible for yourself. Uh, and what happens is that you know you go down and then you get to be close to nature because they're not afraid of you. You're not feeling at any at all. And it feels very meditative. Oh, like you are surrounded by calmness yes. and quiet. It's yes. very quiet down, yes. down there. It's very quiet. Correct. Because you can only you that's the only time you, you have to be fully present and in the moment. Yeah, yeah because and I, you know, mm-hmm. your time is running out, right? <laughs> yeah. And, and it, it really brings you to the state of present. You, you can't be distracted anywhere else, like your mind can't wander anywhere. So to me, it's like a beauty of meditation. Focus. Yeah, focus. That, 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 that state meditation of, and focus. Correct, focus and being close to nature. So it's a nice balance of everything. And I feel like it's so beautiful. It's so when the first time I experienced this, I was like, oh, you have to do scuba dive first, I think, before you do this. Not, not necessarily, not necessarily. Mm, I feel like it's because it's quite different. Mm, but different. you need to have somebody to guide you. Uh. For sure. For sure. Okay. You need to have a. You should not attempt this by yourself. Don't say, oh, because Christian and Denise say it's a thing for my school. Please. You're going to learn it. Please, you look for a good guide. Okay. Yeah. Don't you just own self, go to the behind, and then and then you just start by yourself after that. Oh, I can't help you. <laughs> Disclaimer. Yeah. Oh, and, and having meditation experience helps because okay. you can regulate your breath. Oh, and yeah. then you can hold your breath for longer, longer time. time. Wow, mm-hmm. but Frida, I scuba I don't do before free and I don't do before. Uh, I don't do yeah. before you die. Maybe <laughs> yeah, oh, maybe, oh yeah, before I die. <laughs> but I think I mean before uh free diving more. Yeah. 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 Yeah
because scuba right okay i have a trauma this is my childhood trauma because last time okay this is this show is not about me but never this is a, i have childhood trauma to the point where i was drowned la. so basically it's very weird i'm okay underwater i'm okay above i can swim but the moment is when the water touches here this part i was not the I, it's a knee jerk reaction mm. so you know sometimes scuba mask right it's not air tight one yes. the water will be here mm. and what's most annoying is that the water stays here and it just keeps doing this mm. in the scuba mask mm. so i keep wanting to yeah mm. so maybe free diving because free diving is the whole nose is inside yes that i'm fine yes it's a it's a it's a leftover drop so keep yeah so mm. maybe i'm gonna try that one thing you should try before you dive free diving and it's totally liberating i think so i think uh free diving free diving skydiving is also it's a different experience it's a different it's a, it's different, a different, different all kind of diving <laughs> okay including <laughs> diving into yourself yes and that is the most important <laughs> i feel like we are here to really we're on this dive. journey to yes to uncover ourselves to learn the lessons so what? I think if you have fear of water, at least dive into yourself and just know who you are at your core. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like most of us, we identify ourselves as, say for example, certain high rank in a certain you know, corporate role. Yes, yeah, identity. Then identity, but we confuse it. Yeah, but if, if we take it away, mm, what's left? Right? Nothing. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. that's why I feel like, especially in corporate, um, I noticed that many high, high paying, you know, high ranking executive. Uh -huh. Um, what happens is that title, they, title, title. Mm. <laughs> so what happens is that throughout their career, you know, like throughout their life, they build this persona and this title. Yeah, yeah. And they did not build other identities that that um that surrounds them. Yeah. So what happens is that you know the moment when they lose this title, or the moment they retire, they retire yeah. yes, they start to lose themselves because they don't know who they, they are. are yes, even for many moms, like stay at home mom. Yeah, mom. Then yeah, the emptiness in you. Yes, because you will be so attached to your identity as a mom. But when your child is grown up, you feel like, no, I don't want my child to grow up. I want my child you to be abandoned. Like, yes. <laughs> so, sometimes <laughs> behavior will start to appear because yeah, yeah. they still want their to child. To keep them dependent. Yes. But that's not serving. They're supposed to thrive. They're supposed You're to supposed to be an adult. Yes. To yes. do adulting things Correct. like pay bills and wash the toilet. Correct. <laughs> so that that. <laughs> That's that, but no, there's more to life than and washing a toilet. No, but it is true. Okay, these are things like laundry. These are things that there's more to life than yes. this. But yes. like it or not, it's always there for you. That's true. <laughs> right, that's the you're human, la. Yeah. So this <laughs> that's also there for you. Right? That's yes, true. Deep diving. Okay, lovely. Right. So what you should do at least once in your life is free diving and deep diving, diving. to yourself. <laughs> and I feel like when you deep dive. Then you can start to know when you know yourself, then you realize, oh, I who am I at my core? Or even if you don't know, but identify that oh dear, like if this is the only that identity that I'm building up, maybe you can look at creating other aspects of your life. That's you true. strengthen That's a true. different pillar. For example, um friendship, family, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. education, your own hobbies. correct hobbies, so that even let's say when one pillar or one identity is Gone. Well, as we time because you will retire. Yeah, and it will change. Life mm -hmm. is just about change. Um, yeah. All the time. All the time. Mm -hmm. So when we lose this identity, that's fine. I mean, life. I have other things. Yes. I can go mind dancing. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. I can. Okay. I don't know. Run a course or something. No, yeah, I can go free diving. <laughs> I can go skydiving. <laughs> that's true. And then you have, you know, other friendships that is keeping you supported. Yeah, yeah you do need that. Mm. You do need that. You cannot just be like just with your. I mean. As parents, you love your kid, obviously, mm -hmm. but you cannot be, they cannot be 100%. Exactly. And it's you can only love, sure. you can only pour from a, you, you can't pour from an empty yeah, cup. You yeah. can't pour from an empty cup. So, mm -hmm. for example, many parents or many mothers would feel like, oh, I'm sacrificing so much for my kid, but their cup is empty. So, what, how, what are they going to pour out from their empty cup? And sometimes, mm -hmm. right, the, the, at least the older generation, mm -hmm. they will, Say that I've sacrificed so much for you. There's yes, some kind of, and then there's some mm -hmm. kind of expect expectation that you will sacrifice for them when you are older. Correct. Right. And, and I think that's unhealthy. Cause like a chain, like yeah, you know, yeah. it, it will. Be, it is unhealthy. It is very mm -hmm. unhealthy because because they cannot be a proper adult. You yes. Are, you will. 
That's why a lot of my friends, they are insistent about financial literacy mm -hmm. and financial independence because they don't want it's for their kids. Mm -hmm. So that the kids can go out and do what they want to do mm -hmm. without having to worry about my mom and my dad's medical bills mm -hmm. and whatever bills. Exactly. Right? Yeah. yeah. So I feel like uh, this is back to what we see. If you want to, you know, just if you want to love somebody, you need to love yourself first. Mm -hmm. Everything starts from you. Mm -hmm. So you you can't say that oh I'm giving everything and I don't love myself, expecting you to love me back and validate me. Yeah, it's an Asian it's, it's an Asian thing yes. I would say. It's very Asian thing. Correct. So I feel like at least in this generation with all these resources and it stops with you. Yeah, it, it can stop with us so that we don't <laughs> continue this cycle. I think this cycle, now it remind, reminds me that this cycle probably it was serving when we were in the agriculture age. I think all yeah, these probably. things comes from very old times yeah. when we were like living in caves and all that. It mm. all comes from that and it's wired because like okay. evolution. Right? And, and we just copy blindly without, yeah. without questioning it. In this age, is it still not, and not, not even like it's not even you copy consciously. Yeah, it's, it's just because you grew up like that, right? right. It's, it's unconscious. That's why a lot of a lot of uh, women who are mm. maybe our age, mm. when they work, they still feel like I have to take care of the house and yes. the kids because this is what they they were copy from, Yeah, from mm. their moms and their dads. But last time their mom been working, right? But now I'm working, and mm. the, and the guys are just like. Not all guys, this is not a guy bashing session. But if you model after your parents, mm. you're like, the guy, like, oh, but I am also looking. But the, mom, mm. the mom is also looking. But you mm. see, the kids are always. Yeah. Yeah, like, the responsibility yeah, is. As always, a woman, I think you mm. would understand. It's inside. Yes, it's inside. It, you, it, it's something that I have to, even for me, mm. I have to fight against. So if you have a goal, to, let's say, for example, you want your relationship, your marriage to be thriving, you know, mm. loving, passionate. Mm -hmm. Then you will know that oh actually then dividing of the work will be easy because let's say he wouldn't want you to tire yeah. up and then you all can spend and more it's not about that it's for me because I would just I think both unconsciously it's, take it on correct so it's actually both coming back together to recalibrate like, yeah. what are we doing right yes. what are we not doing right all the time. and it's really going together mm. and you so recalibrate all the time yes and that's <laughs> that 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 is what makes your marriage work so well yeah I hope it's working well <laughs> it, it's, as long as it's happening. There is I know that that is we, so have, we have to we both have to put in the yes. yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. a lovely, lovely lesson from you. And now I will play some games. <laughs> games. <laughs> no, it's not okay. This is the will of um, <laughs> Miss Fortune. <laughs> you. Basically, um, the audience is very familiar with this. Basically, you spin it, okay? You spin it, and there's a little pointer here. Okay. So you see what you get, okay? And then you just like a dare, like, like that. Whichever you can just spin facing you, it doesn't really matter. Okay. I'll just spin it like that. If you don't want to do it, I will hit her. <laughs> I don't know what this one you get. I'm not sure, too. Let's there's see. one you are safe. So I hope you don't get that. Ooh. Oh, this is easy for your three cute poses. Three cute poses. You're going to strike three cute poses. To the camera and can use that for a thumbnail. <laughs> you you want to do it together? Are you, yeah, we can. Okay, this is my daughter's favorite. Just okay. Mm. Post one, post two. Okay. <laughs> okay, this one's probably a good thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> I really let go of my I really let go of my image range. Image. Thanks for watching this video. If you like what you have just watched, remember to like, share and subscribe. You can also follow us on other social media platforms. And if you have someone that you would like to recommend as a guest, leave a comment below. See you in the next episode.